four years, my content strategy has been a mix of experience, hope, and a whole lot of luck. And if you are a small business owner or another content creator, you know that you can't build a business plan out of that. Consistency when it comes to the quality of ideas and information in the videos that I deliver is really hard to get right. In my previous video that I did on AI, I, I, I shared my skepticism that I've had towards what AI is and what it's doing to the industry at large. AI needs to encourage creativity and facilitate it not replace it. So that's exactly what I've done. I've built a tool and it's a very exciting tool. It's really gonna help me out. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it and how you can do it too. We're gonna build a video idea generator app designed to tackle writer's block that integrates tools that will help me get my videos out faster by removing my administration processes that I have in my creative workflow and also get straight to the creative side of making those videos faster. And we're going to build this with absolutely no knowledge of code. And huh? by the end of this video, you're going to be able to build one too. So in order for me to tackle this writer's block, this creativity block that I've got, I need to identify the problems that stand in my way. Fortunately, I've entered therapy and mine is anxiety and stress. And those anxieties and stresses are linked to the fact that my process is littered with a whole bunch of administration that makes everything feel so overwhelming. Attempting a project is a huge number of steps to, to, to end up with the final product. And I see all of them all at once, all of the time. And it's it sucks, it's debilitating. It leads to something in me called executive dysfunction. And in content creation, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. There's like writing your scripts, coming up with a great idea for a, a video, ideation, shooting, editing, uh, shot lists, uploading, making sure that the angle is correct and the information is correct. It's making sure that people want to watch what you are putting out there. And that is the hardest thing when it comes to content creation that I, that I find. All of those things I see at exactly the same time. And I know I'm not alone in this. So I need to build a process tool that acts like a production river, something that breaks down the creative process for me into like manageable bits, manageable steps. And once I'm creative in these blocks of creativity, they'll come together as the final product, as the video that I want to upload. And I can do that video in the time frame at the best of my ability that will meet the viewer, you, um, at the place that they're getting the most value out of that video. So here's the plan. I'm gonna call the tool the content gap tool. That just means that I wanted to start initiating the whole project, identifying content gaps or good ideas that will help me process the rest of, the, uh, of my production. And then I'll add all of those steps later as I go along. Number one, it's the angle. Like I wanted to present me with a bunch of content angles that are going to work on the respective platforms and that will spark ideas and executions from my creative brain um, so that I can get scripting. Number two, a project builder. So once we've built these or got these ideas and I've selected the ones that I really like, I wanna be able to take that idea and flesh it out inside of this app. And that means that I want to be able to script it. I want to be able to build the video and have a centralized place that I don't have to worry about where the which doc is that script in or where is this shot list or whatever the case is. I can build it with that project builder and expand from the seed, the ideation seed from there. And then lastly, I kind of falls from the last one. I need to be able to organize my workflow. Like I said, I need like a hub of where all of these things are and something that will minimize the time spent and the mental energy, uh, executive energy that I have to go through each step. If I just follow the river and take that first bite at, this, at the right time, this should work. So the goal here isn't for AI to do the work for me, right? That's not what I want. I want it to be a production assistant to what I am capable of producing. That should ensure that the content that I'm creating is more meaningful to the people that are watching it because I have more time to think about that and less time to make sure that I'm focusing on the nuts and bolts of something that's irrelevant. You wanna hear what's in my head, you don't necessarily wanna see the whole process of how I make a video. There's a, there's a disproportionate amount of energy being spent on that. And this is what I mean when I say we have to use AI ethically. It facilitates creativity, it doesn't replace it. So. Let's go. So let's generate some video ideas. I had to create a enter topic 
page on the left hand side of the page. So the whole idea here is that you can choose the topic of the content that you want to make. So first you can choose your content format, which would be, I, I like to call them genres on YouTube or, or on Instagram reels for the sake of, for the sake of this, they are the format. So it's either like a review, a tutorial, first impressions, hands on, all those kind of things. Then you can enter a topic and those will help you find your content gaps. I've also included a trending consumer tech list. These are kind of like hashtags, I guess, if I'm like really stuck with ideas and I have no topical format to kind of like lean on, this would be a start for me. I can always come to this app and be able to create content. Once I've found the content gaps, it will choose a whole bunch. I made it choose more than three and it's kind of populated uh, a few. Three would be the minimum that I would like out of this and it will give me these brain starter ideas so you know maybe for complete beginners or whatever but they are very cool and also gives me stats as to like how easy it is for me to execute or how how easy it thinks it'll be for me to execute what platforms it's going to be good on because i've using this tool predominantly for instagram reels and for youtube it will also show me where it thinks the traffic is going to be is like it gives me a score out of 10 where it thinks it's like the highest 10 being 10 out of 10 then nine you know one being the worst and nine being pretty high before we look at exactly what's happening inside each of these um, opportunities or these ideas i've included a saved tabs a saved ideas tab a brainstorm tab and an export tab and i'll show you how those work when i get into it on the top of the of each of the ideas there's a copy idea there's a save idea tab. And then I've also added a brainstorm, AI brainstorm tab. If I click on the AI brainstorm tab, it will take me through to like an outline of sorts where I can build a outline for a video, a script outline that I can flesh out. I've intentionally created this so that it doesn't write the script for me. I know there are a lot of tools like that, but again, it goes against my personal ethos. I'd rather have a whole bunch of ideas that I can put out there and put into a script and then allow me to write the script in an easier way. And that's exactly what I've done here. So each of these ones, if I go to the script outline, there is a bunch of options for a hook, a controversial statement, or whatever the case is, throwing ideas. These will be the basis of the video. It's nice to use this formatting because it works on these platforms. It, it guarantees people will watch, but also I can get creative within them. So if I want to add one, I can just click plus and it will add it to a script on the right hand side of the ideas. And then I can add any of these content blocks as I see fit. I can go, there's a problem stage, I can add that into it. And then I will flesh out the content in this script content or copy it to the clipboard and then be able to use it, which is very cool. Another thing that I'm really excited about is that I've added a shot list. So this shot list is a way for me to go through the script once I've written it and then create a shot list that I can check off. And the best part is I can I can export this as a OneNote document so that I can open it on OneNote on my phone while I'm filming. Don't have to have this app with me all the time, which is, I think, pretty genius. I can also, now with the shot list, I can separate them by location. So I can write all the shot lists in order and then organ reorganize them as uh, in their location so I can shoot in that particular location, which should really speed up my workflow which I think is awesome. I can also then save this brainstorm and it will save at the top of the page. There is a, br in, under the brainstorms tab. If I saved an idea, like tick that, you'll have the ideas there. So if I just wanna have a brainstorming session with myself and my own app, I could do that, right? I can just, I can use this, go there, find out what I did or spend the morning coming up with like a bunch of ideas and fleshing them out and knowing where I want to put them. There's a lot of things I actually wanna to add to this because I think there could be some really cool tool sets here for putting in a content calendar. So once I've created that content of that script, can I dump it into a content calendar and then like make sure that I, I know what I'm producing at a certain time of the week or, what, or certain time of the month, which is brilliant. Then I can go jump back into the brainstorm uh, tab. And then these are all the brainstorm ideas that I've saved that I can actually go back in and carry on working on. There are a few ways that I can improve this and I'm going to iterate it as I go along. And that's kind of my favorite part about Vibe Coding right now is that it's really hard when you are approaching a project to think of every single iteration or every single problem that will be solved on the field. Because once we are working and we're as we are creative with the jobs that we do, we need to have something that's agile that works with us. Be like, ah, I need a, I need the tool to evolve in this direction or add this feature or this functionality, and I can do that. 
and then deploy it and then have access to those tools, which is crazy. I can't, I can't tell you, I can't explain to you how excited I am about this because it, it really does feel like I'm painting. It's a creative way of approaching code that creatively solves my problems. And I, it doesn't replace developers. It's made me want to code more because yes, I can you know, patch out a whole bunch of stuff, but what if I can just tweak a few of these things? And the whole idea that I can go in and create my own tools without having to source them is just, to me, it's the future of the internet. And we're sitting on it right now. I love this tool. I really do. It's, it's, I'm so, so proud of it. I can't wait to expand it. But right now it's working and can be used really effectively across uh, all of my projects. So I'm pumped. And there you have it. Without any knowledge of code, from, from nothing to something, we've got a fully featured automated content creation process that I can use in my content, which I'm extremely excited about. This is literally gonna allow me to spend less time with all these administrative things and spend way more time just being creative and making better content, which is ultimately what I should be doing. And the best part is it really tackles that sense of being completely overwhelmed when approaching a project. Something that I couldn't get from another app if I even try to buy one. I started the series as a skeptic and to be honest, part of me still is, but this is the future for me. This is how we can create something that is collaborative with AI and something that is beneficial, specifically tailored to me. I feel like I've walked into a DIY store and built the thing that I wanted to do on the internet instead of having to have something pre-made for me. And I think that's kind of what tech tries to do all the time. It tries to prevent you from coming up with a solution yourself and forces you to rent it. And AI solved that for me. Now that this is pretty much complete, this is the first piece of the puzzle, but what about managing some of the business sides of content creation? I like, I really want to delve into that. In the next episode, we're going to take this a little bit further. So if you're a content creator or even somebody has a small business or wants to be able to take their business further using AI in a way that is more tailored to your purposes, that you feel is a lot more ethical, stay tuned. Hit the notification bell, subscribe. This, is, this has been a fun journey and uh, I'm really excited to see where this goes.